Assalamu alaikum welcome to the first video of Udo 16 portal customization course my name is Muhammad Yunus and today I am excited to guide you through the journey of how to customize portal step by step so in this course we will learn how to customize Udo 16 portal by adding new features modifying existing feature and creating a user friendly experience for the customer so by the end of this course you will be able to design a portal that will be a uh, according to your business needs in today's video we are going to start with the basics what are controller and routes how to use them to display the data on the website and i will guide you through a practical example that how you can use them so let's talk about uh, some of the basic things of controller and routes so controller are the backend logic that is responsible for handling the web requests so when a user visits a specific url the controller decide what data to fetch, process and return to the browser so that it can be displayed to the user through the templates. Think of a controller as a bridge between the database and the browser. For example, if you want to display the list of products or user specific details on your portal, the controller will fetch the information from the database and send it to the front end template for rendering. But routes on the other hand are the specific paths or URL uh, that can be accessed by the user. So in routes, we define the URL that the user needs to visit to display or show the information, the method to execute as a result of the URL entered and the access control for that route. So think of a route as a door and the controller is the room behind it. So the route or you can say the door give access to the specific functionality and the controller like the room contains the logic for for what happens when you walk in through the door in order to walk you through the practical example and show you how you, uh, you can show the data on the website using controller and route uh, let's jump onto the screen and i will discuss it step by step so uh, here we have already created a module uh, with the name odoo open academy website and we have uh, created a folder with the name controllers and inside the controller you need to create uh, two files one for the init and another one with the main.py where we need to write the actual logic okay and the next thing is in the init file we need to import uh, the controller which is main.py from dot import uh, main.py and then we need to uh, import this controller inside the outer init which is this one from dot import controller like this okay so this is the same like we are doing for the backend Udo. and then inside the main.py uh, we need to write the logic to display the data on the website so first of all uh, we need to import uh, http from Udo. Uh, import HTTP because the controller class is inside the HTTP here we need to create a class for the controller and we can add any name we can say like uh, Odoo discussions like this and here we need to add HTTP dot controller like this okay so this is the class and then here we need to define the method to display the data so this will be the controller class or the controller method and before that we need to define the route that i uh, already explained that what the route is so in order to uh, write the route we need to add uh, at the rate http dot route inside the route we need to uh, pass some parameters so the first one is the url where you want to display the data so for example here in this case we want to do discussions and then courses like this okay so once the user access this route or this url then uh, it should display the courses detail and the other uh, parameter that you need to pass here is the authentication like if you want to keep it as public or you want to show this information specific to some user so in order to do so we want to use it as a public right now and uh, the next one is a uh, website 
website equal to true because this is for the website okay and here we need to define the method uh, for uh, processing the logic so let me just say uh, display display data okay so here you can write whatever you name whatever the name you want and we can pass another parameter uh, for the keyword like this and then here we will return the data uh, we can say uh, this is a uh, Udo, Udo discussions okay and this is it okay and then uh, we just need to restart Udo service and after that we need to install this module let me go to Udo and let me see if the module is installed here you can see it is not installed so let me install it and then we will visit this url to see if uh, it is working or not okay so the module is now installed so let me just uh, write the url the base url here is localhost and then 8016 okay and then we need to add the url that uh, we have added in the route so it is Udo discussions and courses let me see okay here you can see it display this is Odoo discussions so whatever text we have added here is displayed on the website because we have added the route and then the controller method and this controller method is processing the logic and return this text and displaying it on the website you can see so uh, one thing you need to keep in mind if you have multiple databases you need to mention that on which database specifically you are working uh, because in case of multiple databases you might get some errors so this is just simple uh, like if I want to create two different URL so let me just duplicate this okay and here I can say uh, sessions okay or discussion sessions so this is uh, or discussion sessions okay like this and let me restart Odoo service okay let me visit the browser and here i will enter sessions and here you can see okay so sessions it does not work so let me see sessions okay so we need to uh make it different like this sessions display sessions like this and then uh here is another mistake like this we have added an extra uh, brackets here so this is it and then let me restart Odoo service again and let me see if it is working now or not okay this is uh, Odoo discussion sessions so it it is working like this so you can display the data on the website simply just by uh, defining this code so you can also add some HTML text here for example if I want to make it a uh, header one like this and then you can close it here like this okay and uh, then if we restart Odoo service it will display it as a header so let me make it uh, courses you can see it is now the header so the same way you can add the HTML text here, uh, HTML tags and CSS also, but uh, you can also define the template and then call the template here uh, to display the data. So these are the logic that we will discuss further in the, vid in the upcoming videos. So if you find this video useful, please uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also click the bell icon so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos. Thank you.